namaste uh, today we are going to start yesterday we have already started the fourth chapter of the hat pradipika and uh, today we will study about the uh, next topic so first uh, i will i would like to revise the syllabus what we covered in yesterday class so basically the fourth chapter of patpatipika is on the samadhi as you know very well swatmaram ji is following sequence and according to patpatipika there is a total four links he follow in the yoga as like in uh, yoga darshan follow eight limbs hatratnavali follow eight limbs gorak sahita follow six limbs Gheren Saita follows seven limbs and like same. At Pradipika, it follows four limbs. Four parts are here. First is Asana. They are telling in the, and they describe in detail about the Asanas in the first, first chapter. In the second chapter, second limb is Pranayama. Kumbhak. Which description we have studied in the second chapter. third is mudra third chapter basically on the mudra and number fourth is samadhi okay and samadhi is equal to raj yog and our main purpose to uh, to do the practice of hat yoga only to attain raj yoga state which is the higher stage of the yoga and in fourth chapter starting swatma ram ji he is uh, greeting his guru who is the lord of uh, that nad bindu and kala that is lord shiva and after that he described about the samadhi then 16 kinds of different different names he described raj yoga samadhi unmani manunmani sahaja turiya as like these all are the samadhi and what is samadhi samadhi he gave a few examples of salt and water milk and water these kinds of examples that that mind will dissolve in the atma that no difference between mind and the soul our our soul and the supreme soul will be same no no difference will be there aham brahmasmi as like concept uh, he is following here he is not describing that aham brahmasmi that concept is vedant darshan by the adi guru shankaracharya ji but he is also following same way that is the samadhi advaitavad no difference between me and you me and you are the same here that is the samadhi that state of mind where that kind of difference uh, difference will remove the me and you are the different guy that stage is the samadhi stage according to atyog pradipika and after that uh, he described the importance of the guru why guru is necessary for us in the case of hat par the hat yoga without guru we cannot get liberation without guru we cannot get peace of mind without guru we cannot get siddhi so we need blessings of our guru without guru we cannot get any kind of siddhi otherwise we may face different kind of problems as like teacher without teacher you was also studying net jara for previous many years many times many students they have attempted the ugc exam but they did not qualify because but they was uh, it means not that ki they was not studying they was studying but that study was not right direction that's why need guidance need coaching class they they will give you direction as like same guru also gives us the direction direction of the yoga path 
direction to, towards the Raja Yoga, direction to, towards the Samadhi stage. He will guide us when we will distract, when we face any kind of problem. That's why Guru importance here. And after that, there is concept of the Pran and the Man. Second chapter also we have discussed uh, Pran and the mind directionally proportional. If uh, Prana is uh, improving, it increasing okay, general uh, inhalation and exhalation cycle uh, approach 16 times in a minute generally. But when it increases, it means that our mind is distracting. Our mind is not focused in the general stage. Whenever our pran becomes down, 10 seconds, uh, 15 seconds, 8 seconds, 4 seconds, 3 seconds, in a minute, when it is going down, then we feel more calm, more relaxed stage. So, the we know we have to need to control our mind, but directly we cannot control. But in this way we can control. This way we can control the mind. Control the prana. And how we will control the pranayam? Pranayam, prana by following the asanas and the nadisodhan and the pranayam. By following the yogic activities. We control our prana. If we able to control our prana, then automatic we can control our mind. And you all know very well, we have total 13 kinds of senses. 5 karmendriyats, 5 gyanendriyats, and 1 is ubhendri, that is mind. If mind is under control, then automatically 5 kinds of karmendriya and 5 kinds of gyanendriya, they will be automatic under control and after controlling the prana then our uh, then we penetrate our prana in the susmana nadi and when prana moves in the susmana then we feel the unmana unmani kala state calming state automatic then all kinds of impurities which are uh, associated at the entrance of the susmana that will be clear and our Kundalini Shakti that will be activated, all chakras, all the Granthi, Brahma Granthi, Vishnu Granthi, Rudra Granthi, they will be activated if prana is entering in the Susmana Nadi. Okay? And uh, that, uh, that stage is also the Samadhi stage. And uh, if prana is entering in the Susmana Nadi, that state is, state is the Kevali Kumbhak. There is no need of the inhalation and exhalation at this stage. So generally, because uh, we are not uh, that kind of practitioners, that we, we are able to entrance our prana in the Susmana Nadi, that's why our age is very less. So this concept also given in fourth chapter, yesterday we discussed. In generally, we are dependent or depend on the inhalation and exhalation. It means our prana is moving in the Surya Nadi and the Chandra Nadi. That's and not in the Sushmana Nadi. Because prana is continue day and night moving in the Sushmana and the Chandra Nadi. That's why day by day we are becoming older. And that yogi who is continuing in the meditation stage, samadhi stage, as like uh, God, Brahma, its extra load also, they are following the same formula. Continue, they are in the that continue pranayama they are practicing. And the great yogi, they are also following the same way. That's why they can live for thousands and thousands of years. They can they, they will get that kind of power. Okay. So that's why we tell Surya Nadi and Chandra Nadi, it reduces the time. And the Sushmana Nadi, it in, in, increases our age and it increases the time. 
so this uh, we discussed in yesterday class hope if uh, any doubt uh, about yesterday class or should we proceed in the next sloka yes sir we can proceed please yes vijay ma'am uh, sir uh, sushna nadi means uh, there would be no inhale and exhale like that uh, sir yes yes Okay. That is the Kevala, Kevala Kumbhaka state. In state. the Kevala Kumbhaka, no inhalation and exhalation there. Okay. Okay. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's uh, start uh, next sloka. Today we will complete till uh, Samavi Mudra. And uh, next class will cover the Nadana Sandhan. And with Nadana Sandhan, uh, Hat Pradipika will complete it. Hope my screen is visible to you all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes thank you, Geeta ma'am. She did a lot of effort to make this PDF. Thank you so much, Geeta ma'am. So today we'll study with this PDF. Yes. Pavano badhyate yena manaste neiva badhyate manaste badhyate yena same concept he is repeating here, which I told you that our prana is directly proportional with the, our mind. So he is telling, Pavano Badhyate. If we control Badhyate, meaning we are able to control our Pavano prana. If prana is we are controlling, then Manaste Badhyate, automatic mind will be under control. And if we control our mind, then automatically pran will be controlled. In other alternate methods also, as like bhakti yoga. In the bhakti yoga, you know very well, we do not practice any yogic exercise. But bhakti yoga is a very good technique to control the mind. So, it means... Another method also, if we are able to uh, control our mind, then automatic prana will also under control. So here, you can control your prana, then mind automatic control. Or you can control the mind, then prana will automatic control. Both are just same. Okay? It is the meaning of this sloka. Next is telling, Hetu dvayam tu chittasya. Vasana cha samiran hai. Yes, very, very important according to the exam point of view. Chitta has two kojits. Please note down all of you. Chitta has the two kojits. First is the vasana, and second is the prana. Samir hai meaning air, meaning prana. So, two are the kojits of the chitta according to. Hat Pradipika. Uh, uh, but in the other text, they are recommending that uh, uh, Man, Buddhi and Ahankar, they are the trip according to Sankhya Karika. Man, Buddhi and Ahankar, they make the Chitta. But according to Hat Pradipika, he is telling Vasna and the Pranayam, Pran, they form a the because of chitta, uh, it uh, becomes with the prana and the vasana. Now you have to understand what is vasana and what is prana. You all and, uh, know very well prana is that uh, is the, that energy or the, that uh, element which helps to survive. Because without prana, we cannot survive. And generally we compare that uh, which air we are taking, that is the prana. And almost 99% it is true also that is our prana. Okay. And what is vasana? Vasana is that kind of desire which we cannot control. Vasana is that uh, activity that uh, that uh, that uh, visage 
which are not able our control we can but uh, it's very difficult to control for example we are so hungry for five days we are not able to we did not get the food and whatever we are getting then we will eat after five days because we are in the uh, sea we are in the forest continue we are uh, wondering but we are not getting food and after that who is non-vegetarian also because uh, maybe he will get also uh, he can eat also uh, the other animal also maybe possibility that is a hunger vasana as like same other vasana also sexual vasana vasana also there vasana meaning that kind of activity which control is very difficult that is the vasana so here swatma ramji is telling these two are the main kojis who formed the chitta vasana and the prana hope it is clear to you and next he is telling tayo tayor vinishta ekas minato dwapi vinasat is telling when one of the two is destroyed or inactivated the other also will be will become immobile same in the context of prana and the mind control the prana mind will be under control control the mind automatic prana will be under control same here these two are the main thing main causes of the chitta you can control your vasana that also uh, automatic prana will be under control or prana if you are controlling the prana then vasana will be automatic under control it means by controlling the prana mind will be control vasana will be under control and if it is controlling then we can control our chitta and yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha hai and if we purify our chitta by the vrittis that is the yoga stage according to mercy patanjali that is the higher stage of the yoga same swatma ramji want to saying same thing control the prana chitta will be under control chitta will be control then you can you will get the higher stage of yoga and that is the raj yoga is it clear or yes please confirm me are you getting my point yes sir yes thank you yes in the next sloka he is telling mano yatra viliyate pavanas tatra liyate pavano liyate yatra manas tatra vil again again same thing prana mind control prana control mind same thing he is repeating in this sloka also next sloka sometimes uh, so repetition dukda bu samilo bhauto tulya kriyo manas maruto hi yato marus tatra manah pravritti yatra manas same thing he is repeating control the mind parana will be control same thing here he is giving the example of milk and water milk is different element water is different but when we mix milk and water then it looks same as like same same thing okay uh next is or i think it is also same becomes active exhale sense yes it is relative with our sense which i already explained you senses we have 11 indriyas five karm indriyas five gyan indriyas gyan indriya means ear eyes nose tongue and skin these are the sense organs and karm indriyas hands legs genital organ anus and our tongue tongue helps tongue in both in the gyan indriya also because we feel that taste also it is senses sense organ and because now i am speaking it's also i am doing my karma so it is also the karmendri 
Please, please be clear it. Tongue is both karmendriya and the ganendriya. So, and mind is a superior. So, mind control over the karmendriyas and the ganendriyas. So, same thing he is repeating that mind is controlling the all senses. And we control mind by the plan. Same thing he is repeating in this sloka also. Yes, next he is telling. Hmm, Rasasya manasya chanchal tum sabhavat hai. Raso baddho mano baddho kimne sijjati bhutli. Yes, please note down it. He is telling mercury and the mind. Mercury and the mind, they are unstable by nature. Do you know, uh, maybe many times, uh, maybe you during the fever, how doctor test our uh, fever? Do you know that method? Any money? The thermometer. By thermometer. And do you know what is the uh, science behind of thermometer? If mercury gets the heat, means yeah. it will raise up. It becomes uh, uh, that that raises expand, expand, expand. that the main element in the thermometer is the mercury because mercury is so sensitive element so sensitive sensitive towards temperature single one unit of temperature is increasing then mercury will reach. It's so very with temperature. That's why with this, that quality, because that mercury is so waving, as like mind also, na? now I'm here, a mosquito came, suddenly my thoughts will change. I'm blinking my eyes, my thoughts will change. I'm feeling air, my thoughts will change. When I was doing research in the Ashwasa uh, laboratory, then I got these kinds of points. When we are moving our neck also, then brain waves are changing. Alpha, beta, theta, gamma. If we are working on the brain and EEG, then we have to be very careful about that if that person is moving their air. And either blinking of ears also, they are changing our brain waves. And brain waves is changing, it means thoughts are changing. Mind changing in the mind. So same here, Swatmaram is giving example. Our mind and that mercury. Now he is comparing uh, mind with mercury. As like mercury is so sensitive. Mercury is so sensitive. Our mind also so sensitive. So with a little uh, changing in the environment, the mercury tube will be so fast it will change. And it, same thing in the case of mind. Little changing, then thoughts will change, brain waves will change, and many hundred kinds of activities will be changed. Sorry, light has gone. <laughs> So next he is telling by stabilizing, stabilizing meaning control mercury and the mind. If we are able to control mercury or, or the mind, then we cannot, we can do anything. He is telling control the mercury or control the mind or control the prana, any control, any one of them. Then you can do anything. Nothing will be impossible for you if you are able to control them. Next is Murchito Harte Vyadhina Mrito Jivyati Savyam Baddhahe Khe Charitam Dhatte Raso Vayusche Parvati. It's also one of important sloka. Now, first he is using here murchito. Note down this word murchito. Second, he is using 
मृतो मूर्चितो मृतो एंड नंबर थर्ड ही इज यूजिंग बद्ध थ्री वर्ड्स ही इज यूजिंग हियर and how he is correlating with it with mercury and the prana first is murchito murchito meaning in the general human case painting swooning but in the case of mercury because it is non living thing so here they are telling it is means murchito meaning steady okay so if we, if study of the prana and the mercury then what we will get we will free from the vyadhina meaning disease is wiped out our body will be free from the disease okay first it, first thing is then if mercury and the prana will be steady then our body will be disease free and next he is using mrito same prana and the mercury the mrito and mrito they are correlating with torpid and it means neutralization neutralization okay meaning no any kind of changing in that stage that is if we are able to neutralize the case of prana and the mercury then life giving they are telling here jiv jivyati savyam then we can enhance our life vital energy it will increase life will be increased in the torpid stage of the prana and the mercury no down steady stage disease free torpid stage life span will increase and number third stage that he is telling baddha khechartam baddha meaning fully control no chance of any kind of mistake baddha 100% they are telling when they see it, fully control then they are telling khechar tam khe meaning sky and char meaning moving it means moves in the space moves in the sky okay that kind of uh, siddhi we will get yes please one of you please repeat then i will get ki you are getting this the meaning of this shloka one of you please repeat the benefit or uh, repeat this shloka meaning anyone sir so when mercury and prana are made steady that's when the body will be disease free okay and if we are able to neutralize uh, mercury and prana then we can enhance our life that's the torpid stage uh, that's where the life span increases mm -hmm. and oh. uh, when when mercury and prana are completely ceased without any change 100% then one moves in the space k jari k means uh, sky and chari means move so one can move in the space excellent as like hanuman ji okay yes next is man has thevi sthiro vayu tato bindu sthiro bhavet bindu sthiryat sada satvam pind sthiryam par jay yes now he is correlating the relation of prana mind bindu senses satvik stage he is correlating here first he is correlating manha by the vayu he is controlling mind with vayu mind is still then prana will be still because already we have studied in my previously shlokas they are directly correlated mind control then prana will under control automatic if prana is control then 
bindu will be controlled automatic because bindu also directly connected with our prana and bindu is the nectar and nectar is under control then by bindu being held there is always that that stage is the sattvic stage when you will study chitta bhumi in yog darshan there is a stage of uh, the ekagra bhumi and the last stage is uh, nikchit niruddha 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 avastha niruddha avastha so thank you niruddha avastha ekagra avastha is the fully sattvic stage and after ekagra avastha then we get niruddha avastha so it is the sattvic stage that ekagra avastha of our chitta that that we will be on that stage and uh, in this stage that is the sampargata samadhi stage if i correlate it with yog darsana that is the sampargata samadhi state okay which and in that stage steadiness in the body our body will be under control okay and next stage indriyanam manonatho yes it's also one of very important shloka manonathastu maruta marus marutasya layonathah sa layo nat masritah what is the meaning of nat nat meaning lord swami here also if i uh, correlated with our as generally that uh, son son nat who is father and his father nat is swami is his grandfather who his father and his father so that is the series na same here that series he is following here mind is the ruler of the senses so first is the senses and mind control the senses mind and next is telling prana is the ruler of mind we already understood we can control the mind by prana and prana they are telling dissolution is the lord of the prana and dissolution meaning le marutasya layonathah prana lord is le okay if le control automatic prana will be under control and le dissolution they are telling uh, layo nadam asrit hai le is because more than 1 lakh kinds of le is there tomorrow we will study about le and the nad and nad is superior as like same now we studied 72000s of nad is are there but out of 72000 one nad that is susmana nad it is important same here out of uh, many lakhs le nad is superior that's why he is telling le nad is the importance of nad here based on the nad and what is nad nad meaning that internal sound internal sound assimilations of the inner sound that is the nad yes now le is the new word here and next look aswatanam ji is describing what is le next two three shloka continue description about the le yes it is soya soyavam me vastu moksha khyo mastu vapi matantre matantre meaning according to the other guru matantre as like now i am explaining the hat pradipika maybe in the next batch or in this batch other teacher is he is getting chance to again explanation of the hat pradipika 
and maybe my examples and his examples may be not match, may be possibility. So it means that is the matantare. According to the other yogi, matantare, he is telling manhe prane le kaschidanandaha sampravartate. They are directly telling that prana and the mind are his le. Directly he is correlating. No need about the senses, objects. No need. Directly and nad also. He is not telling no, no, no depend on the nada. They are directly telling le, le is enough. But according to Swatma Ramji, nad is important. But according to the other yogi, Matandare, nad is not here. Only le description is here. Note down this point. In the next sloka, sloka number 31, Pranascha Swas Niswata. Yes. Um, is uh, Nada the basis of Laya? Yes. Okay. As like you can understand Susumana and the 72,000 Nadi. As like same nad and le. Okay. Now here uh, laya is the sushumna nadi, is it, sir? No, not sushumna nadi. Le is the state. Now we will discuss what is le in the next sloka. No, what sir. My lay? question was: Is nada the basis of laya? Yes. Okay. Both are correlating here. Because it's a little confusing topic when then after in the according to uh, Laya isn't it one of the kind of nada, sir? There are different you know, kinds of nada. Nada is also kind of le. Is nada kind of nada. laya or laya kind of nada? That is the doubt that I had. Because if because you did not study the next sloka, no? when we study the next sloka, I think sloka number 78 is something. According to now in that sloka, uh, in that Pradipika description about according to Gorex and Athaji, I think one and a half lakh is types of le, and out of one and a half lakh le, nad is important as like 72,000 nad is susmana is important, and out of one and a half lakh nad is important. That kind of oh, word so here. Yeah, so here Nada is a kind of Laya which is so important that you are correlating it with Sushumna. Yes, yes. Okay, I am only giving correlation, not Nada is Sushumna. Okay. You are just Nadi trying to tell the importance of uh, Nada. Yes, Nada is the inner sound. Okay, only inner sound. Okay, next is. You can also understand that when we do mindful meditation, heartful meditation, heartful meditation, we focus on the heart and we try to listen the heartbeats, pulse rate. Little, little sound also we can uh, hear, we can uh, sense what is happening in our pulses. So as like same, Hundreds kinds of inner sound we have, which we able to understand by the Nadan Sandan. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, next sloka is the description about the lab. Yes, 10 o'clock has done. Yes, please, please confirm me. Would you like to study or continue till 40 sloka, my target today? But it will take 20 to 30 minutes, approx. Yeah, we'll finish it off, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Please continue here. Today we'll complete continue. And tomorrow we'll complete this chapter. Yes. Yes, light has eh? come and go. Again, go. For rest is swas ni swas hai. Par dhast vishagraha. Ni sesto nirvikarascha. Layo Jayati Yoginam. It is a description about the lay. What is lay? He is telling 
when inhalation and exhalations are stopped. Okay, it means which state, which Kumbhaka state he is telling? Kevala. Kevala. Yes, that is the Kevala Kumbhaka state. Yeah. Enjoyment of the senses annihilated and when there is no effort, because in the Kevala Kumbhaka you also know no need that yogi will uh, be con uh, able to control all the three planes, uh, existence planes, three loka he can control, or oh, he can purify all his knowledge, he can, he, he will just equal to God, that state, we have already covered in the Kevala Kumbhaka. So, no need of any effort here, and a changeless state of mind occurs, meaning mind will be fully controlled, no any kind of changes, no any kind of thoughts will happen, Thoughts will occur in our mind. No chance in that stage. So the yogi attains that state is the lack. And you also know yesterday when I was describing the synonyms of the Raj Yoga, la is one of them. Is it clear for you? Yes, sir. So la is equal to you can understand that is samadhi, samadhi state. Unmani state, Raj Yuga state, that state of mind which we call it is La. Okay. And in that state, we we able to hear the inner sound that we call that is a Nad. Next look, I am telling Uchina. Sarva Sankalpo Nises Ases Chastitha Sva Vagamyo Laha Koapi Jayati Vagocha. He is telling all the prominent desires being in an internally finished. Okay, the body motionless results lay again, same word he is telling. In that stage, no any kinds of wishes will be there, no any kinds of extra activity will be there, mind will be fully under control. No anything will be impossible for the yogi. What he tell? He is telling no words of that. Right? He can do anything in that stage. And next he is telling Yatra Drishti le less the who tendriya sanatani sa saktir jiv bhuta nam dwe alaksayi lem gat. Again, same thing he is repeating about, he is appreciating what is la. In that stage, sakti exists internally, all senses will be under control. Same thing again and again repeating. Yes, again about what is la. Layo laya iti prahu. Some many, he is telling na, layo laya iti prahu. Many more persons they are telling la la la. Now he is telling again, kidrisi. Now I am again, do I, others don't know what is the sentence of the la. Now he is telling, apunar vasano thana layo visa vismrithi. Visa vismrithi meaning detachments of the objects. He is telling La is the non recollections of the objects of the senses that is the La. Deep rooted desires, no any requirement, no anything will be pending, no any wishes will be there. Higher state of the yoga that yogi is, that is La. So that is that are the symptoms. You can estimate that, that yogi who attain the Raj Yoga states who attain the Nirvija Samadhi, then which state his mind, his body will be there. So same thing will be happen here also. Now, next description about the... Sir, so what is the Vishay? What is the meaning of that? The whole word Vishaya? Yes, whole world is Vishaya. 
generally fan light is our we say we need light we need fan we need uh, husband wife we need children we need food that is all of the objects because Mr. we are people and we are attached with these objects that's why all times we are not happy so in the previous shloka it was vishaya uh, renouncing of the worldly objects sir yes vismriti is uh, renouncing uh sorry please repeat what is vishaya vismriti sir vishaya is vismriti meaning that uh, he will be detached from the world it means that vishaya vismriti he now now you are you have now you will think oh i have the responsibility of my family i have the responsibility of my child these are the vishaya which you are with attached with that objects but that yogi that he will be completely detached with all things yeah so what does that sloka overall mean sir for those who are in laya for them the, these worldly Again, same, thing, all these... same thing he is repeating uh, what is lay lay is that state of mind where we do not attach with anything that is the summary of lay it is okay. okay yeah yes sir continue so many times it's giving examples example same thing <laughs> yes now three four shloka of the samhavi mudra we will cover and then we will uh, close the, uh, today class yes now samhavi mudra has started here now first he is uh, appreciating the samhavi mudra ved shastra purana ne samanya ganika he now he is telling all the shastras Vedas, Puranas, Bhagavad Gita, Upanishad, everything they are waste. Samanya Ganika. Samanya Ganika, it means normal woman. And Ganika generally we use for uh, that word that uh, uh, I'm, I don't know exact meaning in English. It means many men they are using, physically they are using that woman. That is that is the Ganika. I don't know its meaning in English. Sorry, that is Ganika. Okay, so it means, but it is not thing good. That Swatma Ramji is telling Veda and Purana. They are telling they are Ganika, but he is just giving example only. Only for example, he is telling. Other everything he is wasting, and he is telling. Ekai Samhavi Mudra. Gupta Kul Vaduri, as like we keep our uh, wife, okay, means your son's wife, okay, that we keep it secret now and we do not disclose and we do not uh, move in all villages on the everywhere. We we keep it in the home now, as like same. We we should do, we should keep secure. Practice of the Samhavi Mudra. Just for example, he is giving as at that period the Purish uh, male dominant society. That's why again and again he is giving that kind of examples, which is showing that male dominant Swatmaramji was also following male, do, male dominant culture. But at present, that culture almost has changed. Now females are dominant on men. In our class also, you can see, ninety-five percent are females here. <laughs> Our teacher is male here. <laughs> Luckily, now females are dominant. Okay. Next is Athe Samhavi Mudra. What is Samhavi Mudra? Discussion about Samhavi Mudra. Antralaksham. Means the goal should be internal, not our external. Internal, antarlaksham, inside, not outside. You have to look inside. Look yourself. Aim should be inside, not you are seeing the sky, you are seeing the stars, moon, river. No, not outside. Inside. 
एंड देन बहिर्दृष्टि आईज विल बी आउटसाइड बट गोल विल बी इन साइड अंतर्लक्ष्यम बहिर्दृष्टि निमेशो अनमेश वर्जित विदाउट ब्लिंकिंग ब्लिंकिंग योर आईज कंटिन्यू एज लाइक इन त्राटका स्टेज ऑल्सो विद इट सेम विदाउट ब्लिंकिंग ऑफ द आईज कंटिन्यू फोकस एट एनी पर्टिकुलर ऑब्जेक्ट but you know very well in tratka state that object is internal or external yes please external external that is external object but the difference between tratka and the sambhavi is that now eyes here also we are opening and here also we are not blinking our eyes but the difference is here aim is internal object is internal not external he is telling with internalized one pointed awareness external gaze look outside and with unblinking that verily that we call it is the sambhavi mudra which mudra we are stating yes please sambhavi here we in, uh, in this picture you can understand that uh, that woman she is looking outside drishti is outside but her uh, in, in next shloka we will understood that drishti is in the brudya she is focusing in this point that is the sambhavi mudra without blinking of the eyes without blinking continuing in the flow continue its external gazing that is the sambhavi mudra next is telling antarlaksha vilin chitto pavno yogi sada vartate drishti nischal taraya bahirade pasyan pasyapi मुद्रेयम खलु सांभवी भौती सा लब्धा प्रसाद दृह शून्य शून्य विलक्षण सफूर्ति तत्व पदम संभव सेम डिटेल्स ऑफ द सांभवी मुद्रा हिस्स टेलिंग इफ द योगी रिमेन्स विद द चित्ता एंड द प्राण एब्जोर्ड इन द इंटरनल ऑब्जेक्ट गेज मोशनलेस थोट लुकिंग He is not seeing, meaning outside. No any kinds of object. We are looking outside, but we are not looking anything. Our eyes are open, but we are not able to uh, watch anything because goal is inside. Eyesight, we are eyesight is outside, but goal is inside. That's why that yogi who is practicing of Sambhavi Mudra he is not able to look outside. Indeed, Sambhavi Mudra. During the practice of the Sambhavi Mudra, gazing outside and with the in the eyebrow center. When it gives by the Guru, yes, only by the blessings of the Guru. Without buying yourself, now I taught you and you started practice of Sambhavi Mudra. Continue for hour and hours. Maybe you get uh, some side effect of practice. so you have to do practice only under supervision of expert guru the state of shunya shunyam yes shunya shunya avastha is also you know it is also seen on the raj yoga samadhi yes samadhi stage till samadhi state continue practice of sambhavi mudra that is a real state of the shiva Higher consciousness, Surya Avastha. We also call it is the which Avastha it is. Surya. Yesterday I explained you four kind of uh, state according to Manduka Upanishad: Jagrita Avastha, Sopna Avastha, number three yeah. Susupti Avastha, and number four the higher stage. Surya. I also gave the example of Swami Vivekananda ji. that he was in the turiya avastha when he realized himself 
first time everywhere he was looking yo i am everywhere that is the turiya avastha state highest stage of the consciousness sir but how is this uh, written down how is this known to outsider sir was this discussed how how did this come out that he was able to see himself in everybody everything and like lord krishna he 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 was also doing his own karmas na he was fighting also he was he was uh, guiding arjuna also everything he is doing and he was uh, the yogeshwar god of the yogis as like oh, krishna my question is i mean vivekananda swami vivekananda's uh, this uh, samadhi state which he was able to see himself in everything around everybody he was able to see himself yes how how did that come out that fact no please please first of you clean your mind samadhi is not only that stage when we are only in the sitting position that is not only samadhi to the normal people uh, we will not know that they are able to see all that right because are we are not able na it's our mistake we are we are too attached with our senses that's why we need to sit a particular asana and close our eyes for general guides but uh, after practicing a lot then uh, by moving and by doing all karma activity also we, we can stay our meditation states okay right sir i think we are digressing <laughs> sorry about the question i i got a little curious about how this uh, particular aspect of uh, um, samadhi is is brought out think, think about the lord krishna think that lord krishna always he stay in the samadhi state but he is also doing all karmas think that then you will be understand easily okay yeah did did swami vivekananda tell it to the others also, all the all who are the expert they also not they are not practicing continue thousands of year of in the single padmasana no very few guys are there they are also common people as like us but they their senses are they are under control that's why they do not attach with anything and every time they stay in the meditation stage samadhi stage so problem is that na we are thinking that if we sit a single position only then we will be in the samadhi state that is our problem please uh, with that my camera is not properly yeah it's very blurred sir blurry i don't know okay ma'am closing it yes now so i think there was a message from geeta ma'am about the um, battery charging so we should wind up actually because the recording would suddenly stop battery in a battery i hear i hear yeah the so next 5 minutes or something we can manage next 5 minute we will close the class okay she left the call sir okay no problem she will continue by recording okay yeah if you all are saying then i can hold the class so if you are able to manage it without her then you can continue sir okay okay i will control don't worry i have left the that aditi ma'am is facing problem na that's why aditi ma'am have no laptop that's why geeta ma'am in uh, necessary there in the class okay okay sri sambha vyasya khechriya avastha dham bhedatah bhave chittah layanandah sunne chit sukh rupini again same thing he is describing sambhavi and khechri state now he is also correlating khechri mudra khechri is relating here there is difference in the place of uh, concentration or influence both bring about uh, absorbent in void in the 
experience of chitta sukha again same thing both are important both are that 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 kesari mudra and the samuri mudra both are important next is tare jyotish sanyojya kinchit dukmaye dibho पूर्व योगम मनो युज उन्मनी कार के क्षणात हिस्टेरिक उन्मनी उन्मनी मीनिंग दैट समाधि स्टेट क्षणात विद इन सेकंड हिस्टेलिंग विद परफेक्ट कंसंट्रेशन मीनिंग प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑफ द सांभवी मुद्रा पीपल्स फिक्स्ड ऑन द लाइट बाय रेजिंग द आईब्रोज अप इट लिटिल एज फ्रॉम द प्रीवियसली डिस्क्राइब्ड The what is the method of the Sambhavi Mudra? Looking outside but focusing inside. That is the position of Sambhavi Mudra. And if we follow that, follow that Sambhavi Mudra, then mind is joined. <coughs> means mind will be under control, and instantly unmani occurs. Unmani means samadhi will we will get. It is the one benefit of the. सांभवी मुद्रा, I think three slokas is pending. Okay, let's complete. केचिद आगम जाले न केचिन निगम संकुले ही केचित केन मुयंति नेव जानंति तारकम सेलिंग Many peoples they are confused about the agama. Agama meaning future. Agam meaning future, and some are confused by the nigma. They are using their logical minds, okay, and they are bewildered, not knowing how to be liberated, because he is telling. Many people they know future and past. They know they have very logical mind. They have all the knowledge of the Vedas and the Shastras. All texts they have knowledge, but they do not know what's the exact method of the liberation. Exact. Now here he is correlating with Samvhi Mudra helps to. Get the liberation stage. Next loka he is again describing. Ardhon melin lo lochan hai stira mane nasagra tatikshne chandra kavapi linta apun yatri smanda bhavin ya jyoti rupa asesa yam kilam dedikya manam param tatvam tat वस्तु परम वाच्य किम प्राधिकम प्लीज वेट कॉलिंग समन इज कॉलिंग मी यस अगेन सेम थिंग इज रिपीटिंग अबाउट द सांभवी मुद्रा माइंड इज स्टेडी आईज सेमी ओपन As like the semi-open eyes are here, gaze fixed, but here he is telling no jitik. The moon Ida and Pingla suspended without any movement. That one attains the form of light, which is endless and is complete, radiant, the supreme. Yes, uh, let it is the important point here, no jitik. But if generally question uh, will be if it is in the exam, then you have, you will prefer the eyebrow center because most of the text they are preferring eyebrow center. Okay. Last last loka. Diva ne pujiye lingam ratra uchhe ne pujiye te sarvada pujiye te lingam diva ratri. निरोधत है अगेन वर्सिपिंग द लिंगमिंग नाइदर बाय डे नॉट बाय नाइट बाय ब्रोकिंग द डे नाइट लिंगम शुड ऑलवेज बी वर्सिप इट मींस दैट पर्सन हु इज प्रैक्टिसिंग ऑफ दैट प्रैक्टिस 
always he become in the nirodha stage or that will be just equal to count versus bhakti yoga he is correlating here so same thing okay um, again the same thing about the samvi mudra i think you should not go too in deep it is enough for you according to your exam and next is khichri mudra i will not teach you khichri mudra already i have explained you in third chapter you will study khichri mudra by yourself i think 30 40 shlokas are here about khichri mudra i will not give two day extra of this topic read yourself concept we have already cleared in third chapter what is khichri mudra so next nada nusandhan we we'll start from tomorrow and with nada nusandhan our hat pradipika will complete it. oh my camera is same i think time has more so i would like to one of you please conclude anyone what we discussed in today class anyone please conclude within 2 to 3 minutes who can do come on sonia ji rajdeep sir vidya ji anita ji vijaya madam usha madam anyone conclude today class summarize in 2 minutes who can do sir i'll try but i'm not sure whether i'll be able to do it yeah, please turn your camera <laughs> and start start whatever you are doing um so here um, there was the first shloka which said about chitta has two causes one is vasana and the second one is prana so vasana is linked to the desire and the uh, prana is the vital force without which we cannot live so vasana and prana are uh, um when one of the two is destroyed or inactivated the other will also be immobile or inactive that is what uh the relation between vasana and prana was and uh, mind and prana is compared with milk and water and um if uh, and then you gave the example of mercury and mind mercury and mind are unstable by nature and mercury is a very sensitive um, substance uh, which which tends to change with the changing temperature it uh, raises with a slight increase in the temperature mind is just like mercury so by stabilizing mercury and mind then um, everything else can be perfected that is what is said then in the next shloka uh, when mercury and prana are made steady then the body will be disease free if we are able to neutralize mercury and prana then we can enhance our life this is called as a torpid stage um, where the life span increases when um, the mind and prana are ceased one can move in space which is called as khechri just like hanuman ji and uh, correlating the mind with vayu when mind is still the prana is still again it says the same thing when prana is still the bindu is still when bindu is held still there is always a ekagra avastha it is like the sampragnyata samadhi where there is a steadiness of the body and uh, then we went into the order in which the uh, rulers are uh, described so um, laya is the ruler of prana prana is the ruler of the mind and mind is the ruler of the senses this is the order and uh, nada is um, um, given a lot of importance just like sushumna it is considered to be the best of laya so um, when one is in uh, so according to the other yogis there's a slight difference in what they said they said that when prana and mind um, are in tune that means we, uh, the mind and prana are in laya so that is the description from the other yogis and the general description about laya is when inhalation and exhalation stops we achieve kevala kumbhaka without any effort 
So um, attaining of Laya is uh, very easy in this state. The permanent desires are completely uh, annihilated or finished. So the mind will be fully under control and the yogi can do anything in that stage. Then there's an appreciation about Laya where um, Shakti in, uh, internally exists within the body and the senses will be completely under control. And then in uh, the next shloka, uh, where the yogi attains uh, this state of laya, uh, where uh, they do not get attached to anything, which is called as Vishaya Vismriti. Uh, and uh, then we went on to discuss about Shambhavi Mudra. Then there is appreciation of Shambhavi Mudra, like uh, the Shastras, Vedas, Puranas are compared to the normal woman, who is like a woman who is enjoyed by many men. But uh, Shambhavi Mudra's uh, practice um, must be kept as a secret, just like the uh, woman who comes from a noble family um, is kept uh, protected and as a secret, Shambhavi Mudra's practice also must be kept in that manner. Then there's description of Shambhavi, where the goal should be inside, internalized. So the eyes will be, uh, the gaze will be outward, but the goal of the... Um, the concentration will be internal. So without blinking the eyes, one needs to look at the hydro center. So here, please remember the object is internal. If the yogi remains with the chitta and prana absorbed in that internal object and with the gaze motionless, then uh, when given by the blessing, this sadhana should be given by the blessing of a guru. So that is when the yogi can attain a state of shunya shunya, which is also a synonym of uh, samadhi or raj yoga. This is the real state of Shiva. And Shambhavi and Kechari are uh, both considered to be important. That was the next shloka. With perfect concentration on Shambhavi mudra, the pupils are fixed on the light. And by raising the eyebrows a little, mind is joined. And this state is called as Unmani. Unmani is also another synonym of uh, sham, the Samadhi. And many are confused by the uh, different kinds of scriptures like future, past, and also by the logic that they apply. People are confused. And they get highly bewildered, not knowing how to get into the state of liberation. So when the mind is steady, eyes are semi-open, and the gaze is fixed on the nose tip. But uh, please remember, um, the nose tip is generally given in this shloka, but from an examination point of view, it is important to remember that the gaze is on the eyebrow center. So in this stage, when the mind is steady, the eyes are semi-open and the gaze is fixed on the nose tip, Ida and Pingalars is suspended without movement. So nothing but again, Kevala Avastha. And uh, the last shloka said, worship of the lingam by blocking the day and night, the lingam should always be worshipped, meaning um, just like in bhakti yoga, we get completely absorbed in the sense of bhakti. Similarly, the worship of lingam also leads to the state of samadhi. So this is what I understood, sir. I don't know whether I was right in explaining. <laughs> I went. Everything you so nice. Yes. So next, I uh, thank you, thank you so much, Osama. You concluded <laughs> really uh, unexpected. You explained. I was not uh, assuming that you will explain so nicely. Excellent. Yes. Thank uh, you. Anyone have any kind of doubt? You can ask, and now and then we are clo uh, closing the class. Anyone have any kind of doubt? Please ask. Okay, one of you come forward uh, and conclude Shanti Mantra. Yes, Sonia Ji, come. Yes, sir. Uh, all of you uh, keep your back and neck straight and gently close your eyes. Keep your hands in Namaskar Mudra and let's end our class by chanting our closing prayer. So deeply inhale. Sarave bhavan tu shukinaha. Sarave shantu niramaya. Sarave bhatrani pashyantu. 
मागचे दुख भाव भवे ओ शांति 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 can clear up your palm and press above your eyes feel the warmness slowly open your eyes thank you all thank you sir thank you ma'am thank you so much